Hello guys, so welcome to Trading Home and today I will be showing you guys how to model different colors or different materials on just one wall, okay? How to attach different patterns and different materials on the same wall. So that's what I'll be showing you guys how to do today. Knowing how to do this is actually going to help you in terms of designing. Um, when you're designing, maybe let's say a school building especially maybe like nursery schools and there is where you need plenty colors okay like multiple colors on just one wall so let's proceed without wasting much of your time so the first thing is um draw that particular wall and if you have your building already you can um highlight maybe that wall. but first of all let's just draw a wall let's draw um a wall okay this is 150 wall let's see we're doing a 150 wall here okay so the first thing is to do a wall second thing is um view that wall on um 3d okay first of all see how the wall is and then move to your south elevation that's the front of that particular wall okay then on this wall now let me remove this ones okay this is the wall this is the particular wall and let's say this is your building and this is the wall on where you want to model make sure that particular wall is facing you directly okay it's facing you directly be it on the left make sure you select the left elevation to be sure that the wall is facing you directly and then the first tool we use we'll be making use of two tools first one is the line tool then the second one i'll show you as we proceed so click on document click on line tool with this line tool, you can decide to design any shape you wish. Okay, let's see. This is the shape like this, like this. All right, let's see. This is the shape. But one thing you need to know is that if you start from here, as you go around, make sure you return back to that same starting point. Okay the same starting point so this is the first thing that you pick your line design that particular shape okay let's go with the second one second shape okay let's go with the second shape so this is the second shape all right then let's go with the Let's just create three shapes, okay? And then leaving the middle part. Okay, you can see we have one here, we have two here, we have three here. So after drawing like this, the second thing you need to do is is to select your morph tool. Okay, this is the tool, morph tool, and then hold down your spacebar button. And click inside note if it doesn't click okay so that means you have to shift your wall to this other side then you return the wall later okay so let's move the wall to this side now you can see those tools are just here or if you don't want to move the wall you can move let's say this is a building I don't want to move the entire building okay just right click I'll just highlight this particular ones okay then Hold down your shift key and deselect the wall okay select the wall so now you can move only the design to one side okay move it to this side so this is what we need now just the design and then now select your morph tool this is your morph tool click on morph tool once hold down your space bar key and click inside you can see the colors are showing click on the second one and click on the third one okay so now let's go back to our 3d if you check your 3d now zoom out you can see that shape here okay let me rotate it a little you can see the shape here but the shape is not actually having thickness okay so you add the thickness yourself how to do that is by clicking on the first one okay click on the dot this node you're seeing and then select this two this is to click on two now you can add the thickness so let's go with 25 click enter right click and click ok you see this one i have thickness click on the second one 
click on the node it's still on that tube so you can extend it click this in type in the figure you want that 25 right click and click ok then go to the last one which is this down one click on it click on the node drag it forward all right type in the dimension 25 enter right click and click ok all right so now let's take all of them back to this point remember this angle is the same thing as this angle just note one point where you drag okay where you pick and then place it on the wall so click on the first one hold down your shift key click on the second one to highlight and click on the third one to highlight too then hold down this first point this node once you click on it to show you like as if you want to stretch but ignore that you just click on this drag okay so now you can drag everything alongside with you back to this point this wall point and click there so you can see that design is on the wall now okay you can see it's on the wall now so now you let's change the you can decide to change either the material or the color so click on each of them this point here this surface click on surface change the material to what you want this one is brick then i can change this other one to whatsoever i want let's say color or well, make sure you click on the surface first before you click on this one let's change this one to paint lid okay click on this one we can change this one to dark color all right let's go with um okay on the paint we have this one we have this one ivory which is dark so we, this is how to split colors you can continue as you want like do any design you want of your choice okay any design of your choice any design. all right so thank you for your time and um if you find the video helpful please do have to subscribe and if there's anything you don't understand okay just drop the question on the comment section i'll do it to attend to you guys see you on our next tutorial